So now first and 10, here's Burmeister. He rolls right, he's gonna run it now. Hit hard by Keevan Hodges, he fumbles it. And Pick now a third and 10 for Baltimore State. Inside the red zone, Jones throws it to Bentley. I don't know what Jones was thinking there, it's intercepted. Here's Jones gonna throw left side, a one-handed grab by Shelton Bentley for the touchdown. Welcome to the Baltimore State Dynasty. What's going on guys? Welcome to Craniac Gaming. Kaz Cray back with another Baltimore State Dynasty video. This time the Stallions battling the number seven Oregon Ducks from Autzen Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. And this looks to be a very good game between two top 25 teams. Baltimore State the underdog in this one and both teams coming off big wins in their first games of the season. Both teams boasting very good defenses as well. So this should be a very interesting football game. Oregon wins the toss and they elect to receive first, so Baltimore State will kick it deep. Aaron Manley with the kick, and we are underway. Johnson back deep to return it, and he's just going to kneel it in the end zone. So Oregon will begin their first drive of the game from the 25, and Rufus Gray looks to have a very good game against this Baltimore State defense. We'll have to see what he does today. First and 10. Burmeister going to hand it off to Rufus Gray up the middle, and Gray's only going to get a yard in the play. Second and nine now for Oregon. Burmeister in the shotgun. He's going to hand it off to Gray again. Gray gets outside, and he's going to be just shy of the first down marker. A nine-yard gain in the play. Now third and inches. McCormick in motion, and Burmeister going to fake it, and he's brought down in the backfield. Nick Wentworth able to make the stop, and Oregon will punt it away. So now Baltimore State football. They start from their own 36. Franklin Jones on a read option on first and 10, and Jones able to get about nine yards on the play. And that's going to break up a second and one now. Jones in the shotgun still. This time inverted veer. Jones going to keep it himself. Gets the first down and more across midfield. An 11-yard gain in the play. And Baltimore State in a good position to score now. Here's a third and seven. Jones going to throw the screen to Seymour. And Josh Seymour brought down at the 40-yard line for no gain. And Baltimore State just punts it away. So now Oregon football from their own 20. First and 10. Hand off to Gray, up the middle, and he's gonna get up to about the 35 yard line. A 15 yard gain in the play. And now a new set of downs for Oregon. It's a second and eight now. Burmeister back to pass. He's gonna throw the screen to a wide open Gray. Gray with plenty of space. And he's hit from behind, but gets nine yards on the play. And yet another first down for Oregon. So now first and 10, here's Burmeister. He rolls right, he's gonna run it now. Hit hard by Keevan Hodges, he fumbles it. Picked up by Cole Wynn, and Wynn is gonna take this all the way for a touchdown. A big hit by Keevan Hodges. Burmeister coughs it up and Wynn takes it all the way. So now a seven nothing lead for Baltimore State, just like that. Now a third and five for Oregon, here's Burmeister. He's gonna throw over the middle to a wide open McCormick. And McCormick with a 17-yard gain and a new set of downs for Oregon. Here's the first and 10. Burmeister back to pass over the middle to Daywood Davis, and Davis has the first down across midfield. Up to the 35-yard line. Davis actually hurt on the play, so he's going to come out for a few plays. It just looks a little shaken up. He should be fine. Now first and 10, handoff to Gray up the middle, and he goes nowhere. Loss of two on the play. And now we go to a third and seven after a five yard gain. And this time a draw play to Gray and he goes nowhere again, losing four on the play. And now Oregon gonna try a field goal to get on the board. Here's the kick and it is gonna be wide left. No good, it had the distance, but just not the accuracy. And it remains a seven nothing game. So now first and 10, Jones on a read option again. He gets the first down just shy of midfield, a 12 yard gain in the play. So now a new set of downs, first and 10. Here's a handoff to Carlos Starks, the big star from last week, and he gets the end around for about eight yards. Now it's gonna be a second and two. Jones now in the pistol. Starks again in motion, this time Jones gonna hand it off to Seymour. Seymour gets the first down up to the 36 yard line, an eight yard gain in the play. So now Baltimore State yet again in position to get some points on this drive. Here's a first and 10, a screen pass to Javier Harewood. Harewood just shy of the first down marker, but it's gonna be a very manageable second in inches. Jones in the pistol again, Oregon with the blitz. He dumps it off to Todd Renner to the tight end, and Renner's gonna get up to about the 12 yard line, a 14 yard gain in the play. And Baltimore State doing a great job of moving the football in this drive. Now first and 10, Jones on the option, and he's hit hard, losing three on the play. 
That's going to bring up a second and 13, but now a third and 11 after a two-yard game. Here's Jones under pressure, and he's hit from behind. Brought down for a nine-yard loss, and Baltimore State settles for a field goal. Now a 10-0 lead for the Stallions. First and 10 should be the last play of the first quarter. Burmeister going to run, and he's only going to get about six yards on this play. And that's going to bring an end to the first quarter. Baltimore State with a 10-0 lead over a heavily favored Oregon team. We'll be right back with the second quarter of football. Oregon fist in a second and four as we return to the action. And here's Ann off to Gray. Up the middle, Gray's going to get the first down on the six-yard gain. So a new set of downs. Now Oregon facing a third and ten. Here's Burmeister. He's going to throw over the middle, finds McCormick, and McCormick just shy of the first down marker. Nine-yard gain, he needed ten. And Oregon punts it away, but Baltimore State goes three and out. So now it's Oregon football again, a second and nine. Here's Burmeister scrambling. He has an open space, gets a first down, breaks the tackle, fumbles it again, and is picked up by Antonio Coleman. Baltimore State football again. This time, Russell Sands able to strip the ball from him, and Coleman able to dive on it. So now Baltimore State was two fumble recoveries, and now they had looked to make this a three-possession game. Second and six, handoff to Seymour left side. Seymour cuts it outside, tries to juice, but only gets about three in the play. But it's a very manageable third and three now. Jones under center in the ace formation. Third and three throws to Henderson, and Henderson gets the first down. An eight-yard gain for the backup tight end. So now a new set of downs. First and ten. Jones in the pistol. Handed off to Seymour. Up the middle, and Seymour has himself a first down across midfield. 13 yards on the play. And outside of that last three and out, Baltimore State's offense has been firing on all cylinders in this game. Here's Miles Reed with a little spin move on the counter, and he's going to get another big gain for Baltimore State. And Oregon's defense just cannot stop this Baltimore State run game. Second and ten, Jones in the pistol will drop back. He'll throw over the middle, and a diving catch by Todd Renner is going to put Baltimore State in the red zone. Now third and six, here's Jones, throws it to Storks over the middle for a touchdown. And now Baltimore State, pending the extra point, will take a three possession lead over a very heavily favored Oregon team. First and 10, Oregon's offense trying to wake up. Here's Burmeister gonna scramble, able to shake off Kegler, he has space, able to shake off another defender before he's brought down after a nine yard gain. Now it's gonna be a second and one for Oregon, under three minutes to go. Here's a handoff to Gray up the middle and Gray's gonna get a first down. Able to hold off the defender just so he can get past the marker. Now a third and two for Oregon. Under two minutes to go. Hand off to Gray, and Gray's going nowhere. Nick Wentworth on the stop, and Baltimore State's defensive line has been winning the battle up front so far in this game. Baltimore State football now. It's a second and six. Jones hit as he throws, finds Renner, and Renner's going to be pushed out at the 50-yard line. An eight-yard gain and a first down. So now a third and five for Baltimore State, looking to score another touchdown. Jones going to throw left side to Seymour, and Seymour steps out of bounds just shy of the first down marker. But Baltimore State going to go for it on fourth and inches. And hand off to Peoples up the middle, and Tommy Peoples gets the first down. Five-yard gain in the play as Baltimore State burns a timeout. Now first and ten with 31 seconds to go in the half. Here's Jones. He's going to throw left side to Bentley, and Shelton Bentley with the catch breaks a few tackles. Gets up to the 15-yard line, a 20-yard gain in the play. And now a third and 10 for Baltimore State inside the red zone. Jones throws it to Bentley. I don't know what Jones was thinking there. It's intercepted. Kramer with the catch, but Jones had people open downfield. He tried to check down to Bentley. Don't know why he did that. But it's a disappointing end to an otherwise great first half for Baltimore State. They lead Oregon 17 to nothing. A pretty shocking development in this game is Baltimore State leads 17 to nothing at halftime. And offensively and defensively, they played lights out, completely taking Oregon by storm. We'll have to see if the Ducks can respond in the second half. Baltimore State football to start the half, though. And a first and 10. Jones in the pistol. He's going to hand it off to Seymour on the counter. Seymour cuts inside. Tries to cut back outside to no avail, but gets about eight yards on the play. Now it's going to be a second and two. Jones again in the pistol, and again another counter play. This time Seymour takes it outside, and he's up to the 40. 
to the 50, to the 40 again. He did this last week, but this time he stopped at about the 28-yard line. Still a big gain by Josh Seymour, and he steps out of the game for a moment. Here's Miles Reed, and he goes nowhere, losing six yards in the play. He tried to bounce it outside, but it just didn't work out for him. So now it's a second and 16. Here's Jones. Throws it to Blackman, and Jimmy Blackman able to get six yards, so he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And now it's a third and 10. Here's Jones out of the pistol. He's going to throw right side, and he finds Starks, but Starks well short of the first down marker. So Baltimore State going to have to settle for another Philip Hayden field goal. And here's the kick. Online, and it's good. 20 nothing Baltimore State lead now. Oregon trying to get on the scoreboard finally. Here's a second and 10. Burmeister over the middle finds Davis, and Daywood Davis able to get the first down. A 19 yard gain for Davis, who was hurt earlier in the game. Now it's a second and 10. Here's Burmeister. Throws left side and nearly intercepted by Brandon Lee, the Juco star who signed on to Baltimore State this past offseason. Now a third and 10. And there's a little screen pass. He's going to throw it to Gray. Gray has some space, but he's not going to get the first down. Just two yards shy. And Oregon will punt it away. Baltimore State football. It's a second and 10. Here's a counter to Seymour, and he's going nowhere. Stopped after a two-yard loss. So that's going to bring up a third and 12 now. Baltimore State not doing a very good job on third downs. Two for eight to this point. And here's Jones going to throw it to Seymour. Doesn't look like they're going to convert here either. No, they do not. Seymour stopped for no gain. Baltimore State punts it away again. Now a second and nine for Oregon. Burmeister going to throw the screen pass to Gray. Gray with some space, and he's going to be stopped just shy of the first down marker. About an eight-yard gain in the play. And now it's going to be officially a third and two. And Burmeister going to hand it off to Gray again. And Gray brought down for a one-yard loss. That's Keevan Hodges there. And again, Baltimore State's defensive line has just controlled the line of scrimmage all game. Now, third and seven for Baltimore State. Jones finds Harewood for about two yards. And again, these third downs really the bane of the Baltimore State Stallions' existence right now. And Oregon football now is a first and ten. And Burmeister goes down for the sack. Dwight Patrick able to bring him down. Now it's going to be a third and 14. And another screen pass for Oregon. Gray's going to catch it. And he's not going to go very far at all. Lee holds him up. And then Muhammad knocks him down. So now Oregon with another punt. Under a minute to go in the third now. Baltimore State football. It's a first and 10. Here's Jones. Going to throw it deep to Bentley. And a great catch by Shelton Bentley. Out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. And now a new set of downs for Baltimore State in Oregon territory again. Here's Seymour. Nice little juke move. Breaks a tackle. And he's going to get the first down just barely. A 10-yard run exactly. And now Baltimore State with a second and 10 inside the red zone. Looking to put up some more points. Jones going to roll to his left. He's going to throw it to Renner. Renner with the catch. And Renner gets about five yards on the play. And that's going to bring it into the third quarter. Baltimore State with a 20-0 lead. And they're one quarter away from shutting out Oregon in front of their home crowd. We'll be right back with the fourth quarter of football. Baltimore State facing a third and five as we begin the fourth and final quarter. And Baltimore State coming out with a screen pass. Here's Seymour with the catch. Seymour looking to get to the corner and he gets there. Touchdown, Baltimore State. And the Stallions now up four possessions over the Oregon Ducks. This is unprecedented right here, folks. Here's a first and 10. Draw play to Gray, and Gray is absolutely decleated by Isaiah Kegler. Four-yard loss in the play. They get a five-yard gain on second down. Now a third and nine. And again, Oregon going into the screen play, and this time it's shut down immediately. And I bet low-key Russell Sands wishes he had the interception there. Oregon going to punt it away. Here's Jimmy Blackman on the return. Blackman going to get across the 50, up to the 45, the 40, and he stood up at about the 36-yard line, and we look at the offenses at a glance. Baltimore State just dominating this game, both offensively and defensively. Here's a second and three. Jones over the middle to Bentley, and Bentley's going to get the first down on a four-yard game. Baltimore State just having no problem moving the football now. Here's a third and 10. Jones is going to drop back. Looking right side, and he fires to Starks, and Starks makes the catch. Getting up to the 10-yard line, and Baltimore State, think about another touchdown, it looks like. 
Here's Jones going to throw left side. A one-handed grab by Shelton Bentley for the touchdown. Look at this play again. One-handed. And that's definitely a catch of the year candidate early in the season. Baltimore State up 34 to nothing now. Oregon just trying to earn some respect here. As they're getting blown out in their home field, there's McNeil with the catch for 15 yards. Now it's going to be a second and one. Just shy of midfield. Here's a draw play to Gray. Gray is going to get the first down this time. About two yards on the play. And Oregon's definitely not going to come back in this game, but at least they're trying to get something going. They don't want to get shut out on their own field, and Gray gets stopped for a one-yard gain. And Oregon going to go for it on fourth and three. Can't really blame them. They're not trying to get shut out in their home field. Burmeister over the middle, and he finds Davis, and Davis throwing him to the air. But he does pick up the first down, so Oregon still has a chance to get some points on the board, first and 10. Burmeister going to throw right side to McCormick. McCormick breaks the tackle. Bumas tackles there, and McCormick's going to get into the end zone. So that ends the shutout bid. 34 to seven is your score. Oregon gonna kick an onside kick on general principle and Baltimore State's gonna recover it. And this game very well in hand now. Baltimore State has their backups in. Jesse Garner now in at quarterback and he's gonna run the read option. He gets the first down about two yards on the play and a new set of downs. Now a third and five. Garner in the pistol, he's gonna drop back. He rolls left. He's a lot more athletic than Franklin Jones, and he throws it incomplete. He was looking for Jimmy Blackman. Blackman just stopped running his route. And now Baltimore State going to go for it, fourth and five. Here's Garner under pressure. Gets it away, looking for Starks, and it's swatted away by Steven Kramer. And Oregon will get the ball back at least one more time. Here's a second and ten, just over two minutes to go. Burmeister drops back, and he throws. He's intercepted by Jake Pride. That's a sub-submitted player, so I had to show that one. Now, Baltimore State football under a minute to go. Here's Garner on the read option, and Garner's going to get up to about the seven-yard line. He's actually injured on the play, so in comes James Jimenez, the senior quarterback, on the read option. Jimenez up the middle for the touchdown, and Baltimore State with a 41-7 lead now. And they're just going to squib kick it now. It hits the up man's head, and Baltimore State recovers it. <laughs> And really for Oregon, that play right there just summarizes how this game has gone for them. Hits them right in the head, and Baltimore State recovers it. And that's your ball game. Baltimore State wins 41-7 to at Oregon, absolutely demolishing a team that was heavily favored to win this game. And honestly, I said it last game, I think Baltimore State can definitely be a title contender this year. And if this game right here doesn't prove it, I really just don't know what to tell you. I mean, Baltimore State just dominated this game. The only real blemish is Franklin Jones' interception late in the second half, or late in the first half, that is. It's a really bad throw right there. And, of course, Baltimore State didn't do a great job in third downs either. But overall, they overcame all those issues and went 41-7 at Austin Stadium against the seventh-ranked Oregon. I mean, Baltimore State is going to be a threat. They are going to be a problem for a lot of these power five schools this year. And I can definitely see Baltimore State going to the national championship this year. I mean, the way they handled Oregon, I mean, if they play like an Ohio State, they play like a Stanford or Penn State who's number one right now. I think Baltimore State can run with those teams. They can definitely hang with those teams. I mean, they dominated Oregon today. This is a game that a lot of people thought Baltimore State was gonna lose. But here we are, Baltimore State with a convincing win over the seventh ranked Oregon Ducks. I mean, I just don't know what happened with Oregon. They just did not come to play today. Their play calling was very predictable and we were able to take advantage of that today. So next week we have Auburn and Auburn has lost two straight now. They also lost today. So they've lost to South Alabama and Mississippi State. So I don't see Auburn being too much of an issue, but you never want to sleep on any of your opponents and I'm not going to sleep on Auburn. That being said, if Baltimore State plays like this next week against Auburn, there's no reason they shouldn't be 3-0, straight up. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Also, hit the sub button if you're new to the channel. Make sure you buy yourself a Craigasm shirt as well. And this is Kaz Cray for Craniac Gaming. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and night. And whenever you're watching this video, I'm out of here. Deuces.